Hello, welcome back to Gordon's channel. And in the second lesson of the To Do List series, we will talk about the delete features. And we will talk about double click event, remove method, materials icon, class name, and a concept called closures. So let's get started. So in the lesson one, we have implemented a, a to do list with the adding items, but now we cannot delete them. So uh, let's go to implement it from the result of lesson one. Here we have created the list item and append to the you unordered list as a child. So when we create the list item, we can add event listener to it. Add event listener. And now there is a very common way, which is the double click. D B L C L I C K. It's not a full spelling of double, it's a special spelling. And let's give the callback D B L C L I C K and then the babbling force. So now let's go to implement this function. Function on double click. And now we want to remove the list item. So this list item will be removed. Remove is a element function. So now let's try it. if we have egg, milk, bread. If we delete one, we will remove one. If we double click on it, we will remove the list item. So this is the double click event, DBL click event, and the remove method. And now let's go to implement a button for it. So instead of using a double click, we can go to um, use a button. And uh, I'm using the material icon as example so we can go to material.io and go to resource and go to this icon so let's try it if we go to the material io and then we can go to the resource and then at the resource we can choose icons so now in this page we can see actually there are a lot of choices so we can use the search here delete delete now after searching it, it will uh, have provided a choice for delete. So let's choose the first one, delete. And here we can see that it is suggesting us two ways. The first way is to download this image and use the IMG element. And the second way is to copy this HTML code. So let's copy this span and copy to our source code. So let's copy it here. So the list item, the inner text will be input value plus the source code which we are copying from it. Now we can see that there is some uh, colors which is indicating that this is treated as keyword and this is treated as variable. So let's uh, try, try to inspect the console and now let's uh, use the right click inspect to open the console and if we save it the live server will run the error for us. I see and cause syntax error and expected identifier at line 25. So we go to line 25, we see list element dot inner text equals input value plus and then double quote and then span class equals double quote and then materials icons. You see this one in the light blue color is indicated as the variable, but actually it is part of the string. And the reason for this unexpected identifier is because this double quote is closed here because the copied uh, XTML code is also using double quote. So we can change it to single quote. Now this one is soft and you see the uh, errors go to here. You see, now it is still saying that the, now the error becomes invalid or an expected token, which is this one, the red, this one. And the reason is that there is a uh, automatic semicolon insertion here, ASI because the JavaScript treat this as end of statement and treat this as new statement. So to solve it, it is just to delete this new line and then delete it. You see, now when the colors go back, right, and then we can see that the error is removed because we uh, this is the ASI. So now if we add some items, you see that this span is shown in as the text. The reason is that we are using inner text property so if we use in the HTML instead, we can see what do you expect. Here we have the input value, for example, egg, and then this span will be passed as HTML. So we will see the delete. So let's say if we use egg, we will see egg delete. If we add a space here, you will see egg space delete. You see, if we go to the 
and inspect the source code, we see that uh, inside the UL, we have insert a list item with the egg and then span with text delete. So the reason that it is, has not become an icon yet is here. So if you go back to the material icon site, you see, follow the instructions to embed the icon. So let's click into it and it tells you how to implement material as icon. So first of all, you can use the uh, GitHub or use the BAO or NPM to install it. But here we are using web. So here we will copy this link here, which should be put into the XML. In the head, say be after the title, we will import this stylesheet from the Google Forms website. And now if we go to um, save it again, you can see that if we type egg, we see egg and then the delete icon. If we type milk, you see milk and the delete icon. So this is how to implement this uh, into here. But now our event listener is still double click, so it is still removed by double click. So now um, this is after talking about the materials icon, we will introduce the class name. So if you remember, in the previous lesson, we have said that uh, it is dangerous to use the inner HTML because this input value, it will create a vulnerability. So we should use inner text here. And instead of using inner HTML, we should use the create element method and then the append child method. So here, okay, here, uh, we should create a new element called span element. And here it is document dot create element. And the element is a span. And then this span will have an inner text span element dot inner text equals to delete. So let's copy. Copy is better because it avoids typo. And now, here we we need to add a class name to it. So to add a class name, so span element dot class. You see, we can choose class list and class name, and we cannot choose class because class is a reserved word in JavaScript to define a new class. So now, because we are using a single class, so we use class name, and we will talk about class list later. So the class name should be this one. So we use copy and paste or dragging. So now, after uh, having this uh, span element, we can remove this part. We don't need the string concatenation. So now this span element should be added to the list item. So list item, this element will append child, and then child is the span element. See, now we should change the event listener, instead of adding on the uh, list item, we will add it to the span, which is our button. And we don't need to double click now, we can add as the single click event. And we can give this callback a meaningful name, delete item. So let's call, give it a meaningful name, delete item. item. Alright, so now let's try it. If you use egg, milk, uh, now you see that this is this dot removed. So if you click on the button, what do you think will happen? If we click on it, we remove the button instead of the list item. So this is because we use this dot remove here. And the solution, there are many ways. The first way is parent node. So we can use this dot parent node. So if we add it, so the parent node to this one. Okay. List item. You see, the parent node to our button is the list item. So when we click on the button, it will move that list. And we, if we click on this one, we remove that list. So this is this dot parent node. And another way that I want to introduce is closures. So this one is instead of this dot parent node, we can use list item, this element, which is this one, this element dot remove. So let's try. It. So if we add something now, and we add another one, if we click on it, we will remove that. Okay, I click too fast. If we click on it, I remove that 
this item if i click on it i remove that this item and you may ask you may ask because this one is this element and everyone is this element why it is not removing the other list element so the reason is because of an uh, advanced javascript concept called closures so let's uh, do this slowly for example if i add the first item which is an egg when i add it you see when i add this this element and then i create this span element and i add the event listener on this span element which is this delete item and now this delete item when it is uh, assigning this function it remembers the environment which this function is created so the environment is inside the functional scope of on change so when this button is uh, clicked it will look for this element in is uh, look up the functional chain and we will look for this list element so for this button is this element is this one and if i add a second one now this uh, function is uh, on change function is triggered a second time and now this this on change will create a second list element we you see we are using let here which which means that this one is uh, uh, limited to this scope and now when we create a second list lead element and we are creating a new span element and this new span element it will uh, add a event listener the delete item and this delete item when it remembers its environment which is this environment it will remember this this item which is this one which is the milk one so you see that's why each one each button will remember its own list item it will it will not remember the second another list item so when we click on it it will remove only its list item so this is a very uh, advanced concept called closures so uh, if you don't understand anything feel free to ask in the comment section and i will come to explain it and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel so you can uh, watch my new videos and uh, uh, in the next lesson we will talk about how to implement a done feature so uh, uh, i hope you like this video uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you bye bye